decision from their political point of view to survive. So, as a small political party, they found someone who can just use it as a sort of scapegoat. Mm -hmm. And now they have used the opportunity to put Sarat Fonseca, otherwise, who else is there for him? They can't form their own candidate. They can't do that. So, they can't support Ranil Vikramasinghe and, and the team of UNP. They have, they are. Why do you say that they can't support? They can have a change. Well, I, I mean, think no, their principles, small. policies, uh, the their their entire political uh, uh, foundation of the uh, the organization will collapse with that. You know, they can't do that. As it is, they have made a huge blunder by going into uh, support each other uh, by putting a common candidate from their point of view. You see, the the card, the JVP card, uh, is disturbed now. Because the policies of uh, Fonseca, with uh, when it comes to uh, Mr. Vikramasinghe's policies of UNP, uh, Soman's uh, uh, policies, they will never match. So it is like going under an umbrella during the rain. The moment rain stops, you just throw the umbrella and you walk. So they have used this opportunity to survive. Because just look at it: if Ranil Vikramasinghe, Mr. Vikramasinghe can't win this election. It is the most oldest and most organized party until about five years ago, or maybe seven years ago. Now, they decided not to form a candidate. That means if they form a candidate, they can't defeat His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaks. JP uh, is no better. They have decided they can't win. Now, they know there is a general election coming their way. Before that, they have to find a way of surviving. So they didn't, didn't want His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa to go scot free. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he's going to be cool and uncontested. They have, to, they have decided to keep uh, somebody who can contest His Excellency. So they, this, this is an opportunist uh, game plan. I don't think any intelligent person will want to even discuss uh, what JPP had done, why they are supporting. JVP was mainly running on against LTT, saying they are extremely uh, uh, single Buddhist base, and they were talking about you know uh, against uh, Europe and uh, American way of handling. They were against market economy. So if you look at all their policies, most of them, His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa is executing. He eradicated terrorism. Singular Buddhist people have the highest respect, regard for Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa, there's no doubt. He's a countryman, he's from the soil of the country, he's, 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 a, he's a Sri Lankan, truly Sri Lankan, respectfully, people, all the religions are supportive of him. So, the JVP is now helpless. They have lost their forte and they, they don't know where to start with. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, they, they need to find someone like Mr. Fonseca to support. They are helpless and they have no choice. Well, Mr. Mutipala, I'm not supposed to continue this discussion anymore since uh, uh, the, the confinement of uh, time allocated for us. But however, I leave the conclusion to be drawn by uh, our discerning viewers who watched uh, the round table this evening. So I take these few seconds to, uh, to, uh, to say a big thank you to you uh, for participating at the round table. And thank you very much for your uh, valuable inputs, profound answers. Uh, and I hope that I will be able to uh, uh, to do a similar kind of a discussion uh, probably soon after the 26th uh, elections uh, on the same platform and which could be uh, in, in the new Sri Lanka. Thank you very much to you. Thank you very much. Well, people at home, thank you very much for being with us and thank you very much for being supportive. And uh, I'll meet you tomorrow at the same time with uh, yet another novel version of The Roundtable on Prime TV. Until then, good night to you. Goodbye.